Hi guys, my name is Trin and today I'm going to do a different type of video. Roughly two years ago, I uploaded, you know, my very first YouTube channel. Wait, what? I uploaded my very first YouTube video, but instead of reacting to my very first YouTube video, which is actually a poetry video, instead I'm going to be reacting to my very first booktube video, which is Trin's first book outlet book haul and unboxing or some shit like that. I really want to um, react to this and watch this again because it's been a long time and I've been avoiding this video because a lot of things have changed over the past two years or so. And the first thing is that it's a book haul and um, when it comes to book haul, I'm a mess. Even now, two years later, I'm still a mess when it comes to book haul because I suck at telling the synopsis. And also, it's a book haul two years ago and I'm scared of looking at the books that I bought two years ago and I still haven't read them yet. So it's gonna be interesting. Let's see, let's see what's gonna happen, folks. So last week was Black Friday. I don't know when this video will go up, but just know that last week was Black Friday. And I know for a fact, I need to get books. <coughs> Ew. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, my eyebrows. So this is around the time where I was like growing out my eyebrows and I remember being like, damn, my eyebrows look good. I think it looked good in like the very first video in the poetry video. It does not look good here. It looks messy because I did not carve my eyebrows or clean it up with concealer. And then, oh my god, the posters and the books. I like the bookshelf. I like what I did with the bookshelf and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do it again because it required a lot of work and um, I'm lazy. If you don't know, Book Outlet is a website where you can go and buy books. And all of the books there are at least 60% off already. And on Black Friday, they have an additional 30% off of all of the books. Plus, they give you a $5 off coupon, which is always good. So of course, I know I, know I have to buy some books on this website. This is my third year. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again this year, so <laughs> what else is new? I purchased some books in 2014 and 2015, so of course I have to do it again in 2016. But usually, I don't spend that much money on book outlet, okay? The most I have spent is 30 bucks. This year, I went crazy. But that's okay. I got some books. <laughs> What was that? Oh my god, I put in like theme songs and shit? Wow. I'm not gonna do it again because that's gross. Here's the receipt. Here's the truth. The total amount is 42 bucks, but then the shipping was $9. So overall, I paid $51.67. Whoa, the shipping was a lot. $9 though? Okay, I think this is before they have the free shipping. So right now, Book Outlet, you get free shipping if your order is $35 and above. Bitch, the shipping's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so grateful that they have free shipping now. Holy shit. But $9? They were scamming us, man. So I was browsing on Book Outlet and I saw this book and it was only $3. So I got it. <coughs> so you can see, it's Beyonce. It's a book <laughs> called Beyonce by Andrew Vaughan. Sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing about that book. I still have it. It's over there, but I've never really like read it. I flipped through it and looked at the pictures and then I was like, okay, cool. And then I put it away. I've never taken the time to read that book because when it comes to Beyonce, you can literally learn about her life on the fucking internet. You can Google that shit, okay? Next book is The Martian by Andy Weir. I wanted to read this book last year and it was on my wish list, but I didn't buy it until my eyebrows. I cannot stop looking at my eyebrows. It looks so gross. The thing about Martian is that I still haven't read it yet. So it's like on my bookshelf over here. So the funny thing is that I joined a book club like two months ago or so at my campus. And the first book we had to read was um, The Martian. I didn't even go to any of the meetings because the meetings is at a time where I'm not available. So still haven't read the book, but I will hopefully, hopefully. Next is The Wrath in the Dawn by Renee Addy. This book. As you can see, this is another book that I wanted to buy last year, but I didn't. So I'm so glad I found it on Book Outlet for way cheaper. I don't even know what this is about. I do know what this is about. <laughs> I don't even know what this is about. 
<laughs> that's so funny i do know what it is about you know because it's been two years and i have read that book and i don't even like it that much so it's funny seeing it in this video it's my first book haul and i'm already such a mess next is star touch queen by Ra rajani jokshi Sorry, again. For that book, I still have it. I still haven't read it yet, so what else is new? And it's also interesting to see my hair this way because it's very dark. Like, my roots are out already and there's an ombre going on. And I don't know why, but I feel like back then I was aware of my hair color and how it is. But now that, you know, it's been two years, my hair is much lighter. I'm a fake brunette and just watching this video i'm like holy shit my hair is so dark like my natural hair color is so dark so another observation i guess on my past self my favorite of her books is probably lock and key so when i saw this it it's on sale and it's hardcover which is really nice i like the cover oh inside is orange and then outside is I still haven't read the book <laughs> so it's on my bookshelf and i really want to read it oh my god i think it's great to watch this video because it makes you aware of the books that you still haven't read even though you bought those books like me you know i bought those books two years ago next is everything everything by nicola you i read this book Actually, already before this we, was we good next is the sky is everywhere by jenny nelson and i have read i'll give you the sun by jenny nelson this year and it was really good i want to read this because i actually really like jenny nelson's way of writing oh my god what can i think i don't know what this is about way of writing okay bitch and the thing is i still haven't read that book it's still on my bookshelf so god this video makes me feel bad about myself can you see a trend going on can you see a trend going on next is the unexpected what was i thinking oh my god i mean like i guess it's funny but right now i'm embarrassed when i saw this book on book outlet i was so happy i have read all of morgan madsen's books besides this my favorite is second chance summer i read that book over the summer and it was really really good I really <laughs> it. the cover is actually really pretty it's very summery because you have the ice cream and looking at this book it's hella thick because i read this book last year i believe like summer of 2017 and like looking at it on the screen is so thick next is the summer of chasing mermaids by sarah Ockler and amanda lovelace recommended this book like a year ago and i saw this on book atlas so i had to get it it was i think three dollars and it's hardcover great condition and everything i don't know what this book is about <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Addie. That fucking book. I read that book. I read The Rose and the Dagger and like the first one, the first book of the duology. I read them last year and I really did not like it at all. I hated the second book. It's so funny how like in my book review and discussion for that book, I said I didn't like it because I'm so disappointed in it. But now I'm just like, I hate that book. It's shit. I hate it. Second to last book is Wicked Hearts by... Lisa oh Raymond. my god. I have read Bad Romeo and Broken Juliet by her and I really really enjoy it. And Wicked Hearts is about Ethan's sister. I forgot her name. Alyssa. Or Alyssa is her name. This book is about Ethan's sister, <laughs> Alyssa. And I guess this. <laughs> it's like I just froze right there and I look at the back. Oh my god god the thing is about this book i still haven't read it yet it's still on my bookshelf oh my god i don't even feel good about myself right now it's still on my bookshelf i really need to get it or like i really need to read it because it's just like the third book the last book of the series i guess so i just need to read the book and then i'm done god 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 this video makes me feel so bad about myself summer days and summer nights 12 love stories edited by stephanie perkins but as you can see there's like a bunch of um authors who wrote a short story for this book and i actually have as you can see here my true love gave to me this came out in 2014 this came out in 2016 this book i bought in 2014 this has like a bunch of short stories but it's mostly 
Wait, my true love gave to make came out in 2014? Are you sure about that, bitch? I'm so serious because that's a long time ago. That's like four years ago. Oh my god, it's 2018 right now. What? <laughs> Why do I act like this is a big shock? But really, time has gone by really fast. And I cannot believe I've had most of these books for so long. Especially my true love gave to me because I remember getting the Christmas money and then using it immediately to get my true love gave to me. And that is it for my book haul, everyone. Thank you so much. So I spent 50 bucks for 12 books and they're all in great condition, which is Here's the thing, it should have been $42 for 12 books. That could have sounded so much better, but the fucking shipping is $9, which is honestly ridiculous. That is ridiculous. What was that? I hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry for not telling you anything about each book because let's face it, I really suck at telling synopsis. Yes, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you in my next video. that's like my very first booktube video because the outro was like a mess and i was awkward i didn't really know what to say so that was interesting um i'm actually glad that i watched that video and be like wow a lot of things have changed you know am i better at book hauls now i don't know i like to think i am but deep down half the time like i don't know what this book is about but i got it in the mail so that's basically it for today's video it's been interesting you know seeing that video of me two years ago my eyebrows oh my god my hair the setup the setup is okay but but it's too much like you can tell that it's honestly too much because of the pictures and then the poster and then the books so i think that's one of the main reasons why i took down the pictures and the poster because when i film in front of my bookshelf it's just a very nice and clean look so it's like all white furniture and then books so that was like the aesthetic i was going after so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys later goodbye